welcome to Grafana dashboard for workload automation. This is the overview of dashboard where you can see workload by job status and workload throughput. In the corner you can change the time window, for instance we choose 3 hours. Here you can see the trends of the workloads and in the higher part you can see the sum of them. Then we can analyze pod status. This pod status is provided by Kubernetes. Here you can see the number of restarts of the pod and the current status. Then we have the CPU usage expressed in cores, the pods RAM usage expressed in gigabytes and the network IO traffic as pressed in kilobyte per second. This can be chosen as server or console. The persistent volume section consists in the persistent volume claim divided by server, console and agent together with their free space. This is workload automation server internal message queue and is provided by the workload automation. Here you can see the metrics and the emptiness of the, the queues. This is the liberty section and contains metrics relative to sessions and DB connections. Here you can see the thread pool sites trend during the time window. And this is the time used for the garbage collection. In the work automation server section relative to Liberty, here you can see the connection pools related to database, the managed connections, here we have the created and destroyed connections. Let's go to the workload console Liberty Metrics. Here you can find the active session and live sessions. As you can see in live sessions, we have two, the quantity of two. These metrics are provided by Liberty. This is the number of active threads and the thread pool size. Here, as in the server section, we have the time used for garbage collection relative to the console. 